Praise the Lord. Freedom. For me. Freedom. From all the works of the devil tonight. Free. Where is it? Where is she there? Freedom. Total freedom. Mighty freedom. Powerful freedom. Permanent freedom in your life. Let the church say Amen. Father, we thank you and we bless your name today. You are a great God. A mighty God, a merciful God, a loving God, a compassionate God. Here we are tonight. We are going to celebrate freedom. Freedom from sin. Freedom from sickness. And freedom from the power of Satan. Confirm in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Let your freedom unhindered flow into every life tonight in Jesus name here yeah, freedom for everybody and in every place online radio television everywhere and those who are by themselves in their homes I pronounce and prophesy and predict freedom for everyone tonight in Jesus name Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Sit down in your freedom. Tonight, we come again for a night of redemption. Tonight, the redemption is going to come to everyone. Whatever the challenge, whatever the problem, Whatever you are carrying, the load and the pressure you are carrying. Now redemption has come for everyone tonight. And I'm looking at the benefits of redemption for all in Christ. The benefits of redemption, full redemption, free redemption, total redemption for everyone, for all in Christ. You are not exempted tonight. You are in into the freedom. Look at Psalm 103, and I'm reading from verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Think about that. All that is within me. Why? Because all that is within you will be partakers of the redemption tonight. Your soul, your spirit, your mind, your brain, your body, your blood system, every part, all that is within you, your kidney and your lungs, every part of you, I come to celebrate with you. You are the man of the hour. Where is she? You are the woman of the hour. Where is she? And you are the one that we are celebrating tonight because everything within you will experience the redemption of the Lord. Look at verse 2 there. It says in verse 2, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. All benefits coming your way. All blessings coming your way. And every blessing, everything you have ever dreamed of, everything you had ever requested, everything you had ever prayed for, the peace of mind, the goodness of God, and the power of the Lord in your life, tonight is your night. Now look at verse 3. It says in verse 3, Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. How many iniquities? And then who healeth all the diseases. How many diseases? Everything. No disease will follow you back home. And no power of darkness will follow you back home. In Jesus name. Tonight is the night of your joy. Tonight is the night of your happiness. Tonight those tears are wiped away. Tonight those bodies are taken away. Tonight. Power coming upon your life in Jesus' name. 
look at verse 4. It says in verse 4, Who redeemeth thy life? That is a redemption. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee? There's an invisible crown on your head. The crown of joy and the crown of loving kindness and the crown of blessing and the crown of success in your life even from tonight in Jesus' name. You come into royalty because now he crowneth you with loving kindness and tender mercies. The Lord will be tender with you. Instead of punishing you for your sin, instead of saying, look at that woman, look at that man, terrible sinner. That word, terrible sinner, is lifted from your head today. He will forgive you. He will then make you a person that will always say, my sins are forgiven. I have salvation. I am pardoned. And now, the tender mercies of the Lord follows you all the days of your life. Now, look at verse 5. Here is redemption. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things? He'll take poverty away from you. He'll take pain away, away from you. He will take all those sufferings. Pastor, I don't have anything to eat. It will change tonight. I don't have good clothes to wear. It will change tonight. I don't have any place I'm going to live. I'm living on the street. It's going to change tonight. He satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. You are tired of life and you don't know how you are going to spend your life. I'm weary. I take a few steps. I'm tired. And then there's no strength. It will renew your youth. Like that of the eagle. Eagle has bright eyesight. You have bright eyesight tonight. Blindness will be taken away. Infirmity will be taken away. All the problems that make your head to hang down, everything is going to be taken away tonight in Jesus' name. Redemption. Redemption. Anybody awake there, shout redemption. redemption. The benefits of redemption for all in Christ. Look at Psalm 105, verse 37. Psalm 105, verse 37. He brought them forth. He will bring you forth. Out of bondage, he'll bring you forth. Out of darkness, he'll bring you forth. I've lost some amen over there. And out of all the affliction, he'll bring you forth tonight in Jesus' name. He brought them forth. The God who says, I am God, I change not, brought them forth. The Christ, the same, yesterday, today, and forever, he brought them forth. The Redeemer, who is here tonight, and who is about to break all your yoke now, he brought them forth also with silver and gold with silver and gold with silver and gold and there was not one feeble person among their tribes i look at you from the right hand side there the corner there all through all through to the left hand side here the corner there not one feeble among you I look at you from the front and I go to the very back from the young to the old not one feeble person among you today because all your chains it will break all your yokes it'll drive away and everything that brought sorrow in your heart in your life the Lord will deal with it tonight Look at my boy there that never smiled before and a smile is coming on your face. Look at my daughter here that never smiled before and tonight a smile is coming on your face. Because there will be no one person feeble among our tribes in Jesus' name. You know, I'm going to deal with three points, one, two, three, and after that, total redemption for you. Look at number one. Number one, the promise of peculiar perpetual redemption. 
is promised to you. And the God who has promised, he'll never fail. It's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. As he said, as he not do it, everything he has said concerning you tonight will be fulfilled. I see somebody there, you'll jump out of that wheelchair. I see somebody there, those blind eyes will open. I see somebody there, all that habit of sin, dirty life, the Lord will wash everything away. The promise of peculiar and perpetual redemption. Number two, in the performance of precious and purposeful redemption. Performance in your life today. Somebody shout performance. performance. Shout it very well. Performance. God did it even for Mary. Mary the virgin. It looked impossible. And she said to the angel, How will this be? Because I know not a man. And the angel said, The Holy Ghost in his power will overshadow you. And when the Holy Ghost overshadows you tonight, everything of an impossibility is taken away from your life. And then Elizabeth told her, Blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things that were told her from the Lord. What I tell you tonight, in every individual life, there will be a performance. The performance of precious and purposeful redemption. Number three, partakers, 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 anybody tonight who is not going to be a partaker? Partakers, where are they? Praise the Lord. I didn't come as a spectator. You didn't come as a spectator. You came to be a partaker. A partaker. A partaker. Partakers of past and present redemption. I'll show you how those people of the past, how they got the redemption. And then in the present day, you come to the Lord and they came to the Lord. Welcome into your redemption. Welcome into your freedom. Welcome into the power of God tonight in Jesus' name. One, two, three, and then prayer final amen your problems are solved number one number one the promise of peculiar and perpetual redemption the promise of peculiar and perpetual redemption look at exodus chapter 6 i'm reading from verse 6 exodus chapter 6 and we're looking at verse 6 wherefore say unto the children of israel I am the Lord. I will bring you out from under the bodies of the Egyptians. And I will rid you of their bondage. And I will redeem you with a stretched out hand and with great judgments. And then he tells us in verse 7, in verse 7 it says, And I will take you to me. I'll take you to me for a people. The Lord will take you out today. Take you out from where you are suffering. Take you out from where you are defiled. Take you out from where you are depressed. Take you out from all that depression. He'll take you unto himself. How do you like to live well, the best and the greatest doctor in the world. Just live with him. So that he's watching over you. He's examining you. He's treating you. He's helping you all. The How do you want to live? Well, the richest man on earth. That he takes you to his house. How do you want to live? With the happiest man on earth. Now, beyond the richest man. Beyond the greatest doctor. We have the almighty God. He heals every sickness. He saves every sinner. He strengthens every weak person. And he says, I will save you. That's guaranteed. I will deliver you. That's guaranteed. And then, after saving you, I will take you to myself. You will live with God. 
anything that tries to come around you to disturb your life, God has taken you to himself. He'll wipe everything away. A life of joy in front of you. A life of purpose in front of you. Because the promise of God, peculiar, perpetual, with redemption is that he will take you to himself and then he says i will be to you a god he'll be your god your creator your redeemer the power behind your life and then he says and ye shall know today today you will know you will know the joy of salvation you will know the joy of healing you will know the joy of total deliverance you will know the joy of all cares all worry all anxiety taking away from your life tonight you will know i will know i will know He's coming your way. Christ himself is coming your way. The Savior is coming your way. Your Redeemer is coming your way. Suddenly, strength will come to that woman there that doesn't have strength. And it appears everything is down and everything is packed up inside. Re renewal will come. And you will know the strength of the Lord in Jesus' name. And then it says... It will bring you out from under all the bodies of the Egyptians. Look at verse 8. It says, and I will bring you in. I will bring you in. You see the mistake many people make when they come to crusades like this. They are brought out, out of their sin, out of their sickness, out of the predicament they have. But that's half the work. He brings you out to bring you in. I said he'll bring you in. I said he'll bring you in. It's one thing to come out of Egypt, out. It's another thing to get into the promised land. And that's the second part of what God will do in your life. He brings you out. It brings you out and those Egyptians, they stretch their hand. They cannot touch you anymore. You're so far away and you have crossed the Red Sea. They cannot touch you anymore. And then it brings you in to the land of plenty, to the land of joy, and to the land of peace, and to the land of total supply. It brings you out tonight and it will bring you in. Let me hear by your said, Amen. That's what the Lord said He will do. Look at Titus, reading from chapter 2 and reading from verse 11, verse 14. It says in Titus chapter 2, verse 14, who gave himself for us. Say for me. Say for me. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity. How many iniquities will he redeem you? How many sins will he take away from your life? How many habits, bad habits, will he break in your life tonight? Oh, you got it. And you will get it. You will have it. You'll possess it. You'll be a partaker. It says, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Tonight is your night. I said tonight is your night. He will do it for you in Jesus' name. Hey, look at thought, look at John, first John chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 5. First John chapter 3. And we're looking at verse 5. And ye know, I know. 
I said I know. I said I know. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. He comes anything that God calls sin in your life. Tonight, it is taken away. That's why he came. He came so that all the sins of your life, it will take everything away. And you know that he was manifested, manifested at Calvary, manifested on the cross, that he might take away our sin. And in him is no sin. Look at verse 8 there. In verse 8, it tells us, he that committed sin is of the devil. I will not be of the devil. I said I will not be of the devil. If you were of the devil yesterday, last week, last year, until this very time, now a change is coming. What are you? I said a change is coming. And then the Lord himself, by his power, he will take away all the guilt, all the condemnation. He will redeem you and set you free tonight in Jesus' name. Then it says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Where you see destroying the works of the devil tonight? I said, Where you see destroying the works of the devil tonight? Out of your life, out of your mind, out of your brain, the Lord will totally destroy all the works of the devil in Jesus' name. Look at number two there. Number two, we're coming now closer to the time of your redemption. Number two is the performance of precious and purposeful redemption. Performance. Performance. Somebody shout performance. The performance a precious, purposeful redemption. We're looking at Psalm 107. Psalm 107. We're looking at verse 2. It says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom? He has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Are you there? I said, are you there? Tonight is that night. He will redeem you completely, permanently, perfectly from the hands of the enemy. Look at verse 20. It tells us in verse 20, and it says, He sent His word. He's sending that word to you right now. The word of redemption, the word of salvation, the word of power, the word of healing, the word of deliverance, and the word of dominion. He sent his word and healed them. How many of them? How many of us? When are you going to get your healing? Now, now, because it says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them I'm there I'm part of that he delivered them from their destruction tonight is the night of performance for you the night of performance for everyone the blind will see the lame will rise up and walk and those who have any yoke, any burden, any curse from the enemy tonight.
total deliverance for everyone in Jesus' name. Look at that, say, chapter 43. And I'm reading from verse 1, Isaiah, chapter 43, and we're looking at verse 1, Isaiah 43. But now, thus says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, fear not. The night is the night of celebration for you, fear not. The night is the night of power for you, fear not. Tonight is the night of celebration of your redemption, fear not. Then it says, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, and thou art mine. And thou art mine. And thou art mine. Do you want to belong to Satan forever? No. Do you want to live in sin forever? No. It says on his own side, he counts you as a creature, a child of God that he has redeemed. It says, Thou art mine. And it's for you tonight to give a practical note and accent to that which God has declared that tonight you belong to him Amen. and you will make a decision and say idolatry bye bye Amen. evil bye bye Amen. wickedness bye bye Amen. and the way of darkness bye bye and then you say, Lord, I come. I come to you never to return back to evil things anymore. Am I talking about somebody there? It will happen tonight. With joy, with assurance, with decision, with dedication, you offer yourself unto the Lord and say Lord here am I I come never to go back again and tonight a performance in your life Amen. salvation performance Amen. healing performance Amen. deliverance performance Amen. the Lord will do it Amen. the person I'm talking about tonight I want to see if he's there Amen, amen. amen. and Amen for you Let's come to point number three now. Point number three, the partakers of past and present redemption. The partakers of past and present redemption. You know, we've been having uh, this crusade now for months. And this year, we had it in January. This year, we had it in February, and now, one, two, three, March, for you. Amen. I said, for you. Amen. When we were having uh, this crusade, global crusade, in February, Taraba, there was a student. This student was practically helpless, couldn't help herself because she had terrible kind of arthritis, pain everywhere, every joint, every part of the body, total, complete breakdown. And then she participated in that crusade in February. And when the prayer came with the power of God, performance in her life. Amen. Now, I'm told she's able to, you know, do things by herself. Everything is all right. All the arthritis is gone. All the pain gone. Permanent. Tonight is your night. Amen. Not only here in Nigeria, in Burkina Faso, we had somebody that was 
completely, completely mad. He said, and it was terrible for him and the family. And now, one way or the other, somebody brought him to the crusade in Burkina Faso, another country. And the prayer went forth from here, from the Alpha location. And then the power of God came upon him. Evil spirit went away. Yeah. I thought you put your hands together for Jesus. And tonight, that same redemption has come. Your own portion is here tonight. You'll be a partaker. I will be a partaker. Number three now, the partakers of past and present redemption. Galatians chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 13. Galatians chapter 3. Reading from verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Every curse in your life broken, taken away tonight in Jesus' name. Every yoke totally destroyed. Every chain, every bondage totally destroyed tonight in Jesus' name. Be made a curse for us. For it is written, Cause such is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Then in verse 13, verse 14, it said that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Every promise is taken from the Lord, from the throne, and given unto you today in Jesus' name. Past and present redemption, not the past. Those people, the children of Israel, in the past, how did they have their redemption? They had been in bondage for centuries in the land of bondage, but now, their day of redemption came. It doesn't matter how long your bondage, how long the spiritual imprisonment had been in your life. Tonight is your night of redemption. They have been in bondage for hundreds of years. How did they have their redemption? Our return with the whole heart to the Lord. That's what they did. They returned with their whole heart unto the Lord. That's why I'll be calling on you tonight. That you return to the Lord. Maybe you go to church, but you only go on Sunday during the week. It's like you're serving another sin, not the God of heaven. But tonight, you will return. I said tonight, you will return. He empty the house of leaven. The Lord told them, leaven symbolized evil, sin, defilement, something that was not good in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord said, search your houses and take leaven away completely. That's what you are doing tonight. As you come, you return to the Lord. You empty your house of leaven. D, delay not to come out of the land. Out of the land of bondage. Out of that gang where you have been. You will not delay. You say, today is my chance. And today is my day, my day of salvation. You will not delay, you will come. E, you eat of the body of the Lamb. The Lord who had given himself to you. He says, come, I give my whole self unto you. You take the Lord Jesus Christ, behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. You accept him, you believe him, you embrace him. Emma manna received from the Lord. From today, it will feed your life. 
it will feed your soul it will feed your spirit man does not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of god p and the pass over the lord said when i see the blood i will pass over you calamity will pass over you judgment will pass over you you apply the blood of jesus the blood of the lamb upon the lintels of your heart you say i believe that blood was shed for me and the lord will pass over you it says judgment will not touch you again it says punishment will not touch you again and then she the next day, what letter there is to turn not away from the lord once you come you come today and then permanently you remain with the lord you will not turn away from the lord i you influence other people the lamb is greater than a household it's greater than a community and the lamb is for everyone behold the lamb that taketh away the sin of the whole world and therefore all the people around you when you are coming tomorrow you come along with them oh you obey the word of the lord simple word of the lord that says keep on following and then i will make you the person that god had created you to be and then neglect not the holy nation of the lord it says the lord will join you to this holy nation to the people of God. Your redemption starts tonight and then it will continue and continue and continue ever in Jesus' name. Are you ready? Heaven is ready for you. I said, are you ready? The redemption of the Lord is ready and available for you now. Are you ready? The salvation of the Lord will be given unto you. Forgiveness of the Lord will be given unto you. This is your day of redemption, of salvation. And as the Lord calls upon you and he says, let the wicked forsake his way. And the righteous man is told, and let him return unto the Lord. And the Lord will abundantly pardon tonight. He'll forgive you. He'll set you free. He'll save your soul. He'll change your life. He brings you out and He will bring you in. He brings you out and He will bring you in. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You want to come out of your sin? Come out of your transgression? Come out of your iniquity? Here we are now. The chance is waiting for you now. Raise up that hand. Lord, I'm ready. Lord, I come out. Lord, I confess my sin. I forsake my sin. And I want Jesus to be my Savior right now. Where are you? Where are you? Raise up that hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. I see that God bless you there. Raise it up very well. If you're raising up your hand, please stand up wherever you are. You're saying, I come out, out of darkness, out of sin, out of all defilement, out of all my evil ways. I come out. I want to come in to the salvation of the Lord. Where are you? Where are you? You are raising up your hand. That's right. That's right. Just stand up wherever you are. As you stand up, just tell the Lord there, Oh Lord, I come. Oh Lord, I come. I come out. I come out of my sin. I come out of my evil. I come out of my wickedness. And Lord, I come to you. I take Jesus. Say that. I take Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. He has accepted you. Let me pray with you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that has come out of sin, come out of evil, come out of their wickedness, and they have come to Christ to be their Savior. Forgive them, Lord. Change their lives. Turn them around. And I pray new life will come to them right now in Jesus' name. 
give them the joy of your salvation and the peace of your salvation and give them the assurance as they have come to you you have accepted them thank you lord in jesus name we pray let the people of god say amen, amen. keep on standing our counselors are there and they will give you the sleep to feel after that will continue every yoke every curse every disease every sickness is taken away from your life tonight we call on our pastor state pastor to help us in this session now counselors are just by your side and those counselors are there to help you so that you can give us your name just write your full names on those cards and then your address in case you do not have a definite address uh, the number or a street name you can describe where you live either by a popular market or by the name of a compound or by a name of a person that is well known around that area just uh, describe where you live there on the card and then you will give us how we can contact you your phone number if you have a phone and your email address in case you have just provide those things there we shall use it to uh, contact you and help you in case you have any need. And so our counselors, please give them attention, all the people. Don't allow the insects to disturb you, but try as much as possible to give them those particulars. And if you are watching online and you just gave your life to Christ, after the pastor's message this evening, you have to visit the link that is showing on the screen now and fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via the radio or television, and you just gave your life to Christ, send your name and your phone number and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number. I'm going to call to you now, plus 234-915-4444. Nine two six three. That is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. And when you uh, give us your particulars through this phone number, we will be able to reach you and you'll be able to share with us what the Lord has done in your life. And there will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ on Sunday, the 3rd of April. That is after this week's Sunday, the next week's Sunday. Um, there will be a special banquet for those who gave their lives online. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Thank you. And all those uh, uh, people here in Bayesa, there will be Bayesa Believers Banquet on that same date, on 3rd of April uh, 2022 at the Deeper Life Campground by 3 p.m. and other designated uh, venues as it is on your program. 
And so look out for your program at the back of your program. You will see uh, uh, those uh, banquet venues where you can attend in case you came from other parts of the state. Please, let's not forget that tomorrow by 3 p.m., there is lunch hour with Jesus, and that will be taking place in the university auditorium. And so come at that time, and we shall be there to receive you and give you a special package from the Lord. And we want to encourage you to make our time to be there. You will be able to partake of the package from the pastor. And as, you are, as the counselors are by your side, they are there with a package to give to you. Please uh, open that package later. And you will read a letter from our pastor inviting you to both the banquet and the lunch hour with Christ. And so make sure you are partake. You will not miss your blessings. And so, counselors, please, can you help me to know if you have uh, summarized your cluster. Please, at the far left there, if you have, can you please raise your hand, wave it at me, if you have finished. Uh, also, with our VIPs, if you are there, we have uh, counselors, please raise up your hand. Raise up your hand, if you have. Do we have have you finished there? At the far left. Please, if you have, the supervisors should please help us and uh, endeavor to put the cards in front of you. There is a basket that is, is meant for. And so please let us find out, please, at the near left side here. Do we have... Have we finished our line? Please raise your hand and wave it at me. The supervisors, please help us. Okay. And then the central parts of our stage here, central parts. Can you raise up your hand if you have finished your side? Uh, please raise up your hand and wave it at me. God bless you. And uh, at the near right here, if you have uh, finished your site, can you raise up your hand? Wave it at me, please. Uh, supervisors, please help me. You have finished. Can you raise up your hand and wave it at me? Wave it at me. Wave it at me. Supervisors, please, can you help me? If you have finished at the near right here, can you raise up your hand and wave it at me, please? Supervisors. At the far right, if you have finished there, can you please raise up your hand and wave it at me? Please do that quickly. I'm waiting for you. And uh, those of us who are here, you are looking for a miracle. You haven't seen a miracle before. You are going to see one tonight. You are going to get one tonight. And uh, right now, you are going to get set because the man of God is coming. And let's rise up on our feet. We are about to receive special touch from the Lord. Freedom is here. Praise the Lord. Somebody expecting freedom there, shout freedom. freedom. Every sickness in your body, every infirmity, every yoke, Every burden, every curse, taken away right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, you are not a spectator. You are a partaker tonight. You'll be a possessor. Where are you? 
raise up that hand. Lead the other hand when you have the problem. The Lord is about to touch you right now. Heal you right now. Deliver you right now. And when that final amen comes, then you check up yourself. Whatever the challenge, it will have gone. Are you ready? Father, in Jesus' name, you are a God who cannot fail. A God who cannot change. Lord Jesus, you've given us your name and you said whatsoever we ask in that name will be done. You are the same yesterday, today and forever. You healed in the past, you are healing right now. You have come to destroy the works of the devil and every work of the devil in the life of anyone here be destroyed in Jesus name yes. whatever is covering your sight blindness I command come out in Jesus name yes. deafness dumbness I command come out in Jesus name yes. all that are near goiter anything swollen in the body I command come out in Jesus name Amen. afflictions of the devil afflictions of the enemy the yoke and the curse be broken right now Amen. you are delivered in Jesus name Amen. all the internal parts the kidneys the lungs and the livers every part any kind of internal problem you have be healed right now in Jesus name Amen. Every incurable disease come out of your body. Yeah. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. HIV, AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Tuberculosis, you are healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Any respiratory problem, the Lord touch you now and heal you in Jesus' name. Yeah. You have stroke. I pray that the power of the Lord will get into you right now. Take that stroke away. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Paralysis, lameness, be healed in Jesus' name. Broken bones, be mended right now. Come together right now. Lord, manifest your power everywhere. To the right, to the left, to the center, to the back. Everywhere manifestation. Everywhere performance. Everywhere miracle now in Jesus' name. Over the radio, over the television, online, everywhere now. Manifestation of power. Manifestation of healing, manifestation of deliverance. Perform your work in every life right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. You have got it. I said you have got it. It is done. Check up. You'll find your miracle right there. Check up, check up.